And now on to our dinosaur of the day, which is Argentinosaurus. And it was a request from Garrett via Facebook. Obviously not this Garrett, different Garrett. Thanks, Garrett. Anyway, the name means Argentine lizard. It's a titanosaur that was found in Argentina, and it's one of the largest known dinosaurs. It lived in the late Cretaceous. Uh, one of the latest largest known dinosaurs is Dreadnoughtus, which we talked about in, I believe, episode 15. And so these kind of giant dinosaurs, we seem to keep finding more and more, though it's hard to pin down exactly how large they were. Yeah, there's a ton of like extrapolation that goes on with these, especially because so many of them are really incomplete finds. So the the range of weights can be like 50 to like 100 tons pretty easily. And then trying to discern which range is the ultimate maximum one is especially hard. Yeah. So Argentinosaurus, the first fossils were found by a rancher in 1987 who thought that a leg was a big piece of petrified wood. And they also eventually found a large vertebra about the size of an adult human male. Yeah. It was described by Jose F. Bonaparte and Rodolfo Coria in 1993, and the type species is Argentinosaurus huienculensis. The holotype only has six vertebrae from the back, five partial vertebrae from the hip area, ribs on the right hip, part of a rib from the flank, and the right fibula. Other Argentinosaurus bones that have been found include an incomplete femur, which combined with the other bones helps scientists estimate its size. The exact size of Argentinosaurus is uncertain. Like we said before, it's hard to tell with these titanosaurs. But one vertebrae was 5.2 feet or 1.59 meters tall, which is very tall. Gregory S. Paul estimated Argentinosaurus to be between 98 and 115 feet or 30 to 35 meters long and weigh 80 to 100 tons. The skeletal restoration at the Museo Carmen Fuenes is 140 feet or 39.7 meters long and 24 feet or 7.3 meters high and has the mostly complete fibula. In 2006, Carpenter estimated Argentinosaurus to be 98 feet or 30 meters long based on Saltosaurus. Other estimates that are based on Saltosaurus, Opistocolicadia, and Rapatosaurus say that Argentinosaurus is between 72 and 85 feet or 22 and 26 meters long. In 2004, Mazetta and others estimated that Argentinosaurus weighed 73 tons. Argentinosaurus is the heaviest known sauropod so far. Another estimate had Argentinosaurus weighing 83 tons, and this is based on the volume of a reconstruction. In 2013, Bill Sellers, Rodolfo Coria, Lee Margaret, and others published a study in PLOS One about Argentinosaurus' speed. They digitally reconstructed Argentinosaurus and estimated its gait and speed with musculoskeletal analysis, and they found it could go as fast as 5 miles per hour, 2 meters per second. They used a laser to scan the skeleton in the Argentine Museum. Argentinosaurus was an herbivore with a long neck that it used to reach up into conifers or sweep the ground for ferns and bushes. Yeah, a lot of the newer stuff is saying that they did more of a sweeping motion and less reaching up high. Yeah, I could see that covering more ground. And there's issues with uh, blood pressure and stuff too. Yeah. So they swallowed gastroliths to grind up the food in their stomachs, and they probably traveled in herds for protection, and juveniles were vulnerable to predators. Fossilized eggs of sauropods related to Argentinosaurus have been found, and it's possible that hundreds of Argentinosaurus adults came together each year to nest on wide, flat floodplains. So Argentinosaurus is a titanosaur, and titanosaurs are a group of sauropods, which are very large herbivores that lived during the last 30 million years of the Mesozoic era. Some titanosaur species are the largest land-living animals discovered, but in many cases scientists have found incomplete fossils. The name Titanosaur came from the titans of ancient Greek mythology, and the family Titanosauridae was named after Titanosaurus, an incomplete fossil. Only a partial femur and two incomplete caudal vertebrae were found by Richard Lydecker in 1877. Titanosaurs were the last group of sauropods. They lived about 90 to 66 million years ago and were the dominant herbivores. They replaced other sauropods like diplodocids and brachiosaurids. Titanosaur fossils have been found on all continents, including Antarctica. The most titanosaurs lived in the southern continents, which was then part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Compared to other sauropods, titanosaurs had small heads. Their heads were also wide, with large nostrils and crests formed by nasal bones. They had spoon-like or peg or pencil-like teeth teeth that were very small. They were not picky eaters. They had a broad diet, which included cycads and conifers, as well as surprisingly palms and grasses, such as the ancestors of rice and bamboo. 
They tended to have average length necks, at least for sauropods and whip-like tails, but not as long as the diplodocus tail. Titanosaurs also had a slimmer pelvis compared to some sauropods and wider chests, which gave them a broader stance and they left broader tracks. They had stocky forelimbs that were usually longer than their hind limbs and they had solid backbones instead of hollowed out backbones. It's interesting. You'd think they would want all of their bones to be as light as possible, but there must have been something important about the backbones. 